There is extensive damage, though, all across North Texas, Central Texas, and into Oklahoma from the tornado outbreak that started hitting this afternoon. The National Weather Service has yet to confirm how many tornadoes there were from today's line, but there are several videos confirming tornadoes, and much of the damage you will see is more severe than what straight line winds would do. And of course, Dan and Allie will be back with more on the overall outbreak, but first, a look at some of the damage from Jacksboro in Jack County. For that, we go to Fox 4's Peyton Yeager. Peyton. Heather, was really terrifying is when the storm touched down here in Jacksboro. It's right around where all of the schools are, the high school and the elementary school, and a neighborhood that backs up to the school property. I mean, roofs are gone. There's debris everywhere. Here is just a taste on the main road where we have debris wrapped around power lines and trees are snapped. People are trying to clean up their yard and take this in. But let's get you right to the high school where there is extensive damage to Jacksboro High School's gymnasium. The whole roof was torn off. Jacksboro superintendent says he was made aware of the storm was turning severe just after 3 p.m. So they let 300 high schoolers who could drive leave early, but the bus riders and all staff were forced to take shelter. We spoke to Jacksboro High School principal Starla Sanders just moments after the storm passed. Her number one priority was all of the students and staff. She hasn't even been home yet, and she was told the roof at her house is completely gone. Well, I mean, it just brought tears to my eyes. It's hard to see that, you know, I've lived here for 15 years. I love this place. Uh, and so it was hard and uh, they I keep hearing I haven't seen that I don't have a roof on my own house. So uh, but, you know, my kids are safe. My husband's safe and, uh, you know, all the students at JISD are safe. So that's what's important. And then we spoke to 14 year old freshman Emma Gass. She could not drive home to safety, so her golf coach loaded kids up into his car and they sped off to the middle school just up the road where everyone took shelter in the library. There was no damage reported at Jacksboro Middle School, so the students were reunited with their parents there. And finally, she was able to go home. This is what she had to say Lots of thunder, chaos, people talking, freaking out, lots of anxiety ridden things going on so it's just kind of a feeling comes over you and you're just like wow it can really disappear that fast so just across from Jacksboro High School is the elementary school housing 500 kids where its gymnasium also had walls collapse and children were waiting for their parents to pick them up the parents were the children were rushed to the interior of the building and told to shelter in the hallway. Then you have parents in the pickup line in the parking lot. They hopped out of their cars and got into the elementary school. And what's left when we showed up, cars were flipped over, windows were blown out. And that's when parents jumped out. They took shelter and they came back out to survey the damage. Because we knew the storm was coming. Um, it was expected to be here around 3.56, 4 o'clock. So, and school lets out at 3.30. So, but there was still a lot of cars in line trying to pick up their kids. And as you can see, the parking lot is destroyed. Tons of cars and vehicles. Um, but thankfully, I think everybody's okay and got to get inside if they were still waiting to get their kids out. Our kids are okay. Our family's okay. Yeah. Friends are okay. Both of these campuses, our elementary and our high school campus, have storm shelters uh, that we were able to put all of our students and staff and parents into, and they functioned the way they were designed. And I'm thankful to report that we have no injuries of students or staff, and I'm not aware of any parents that were on any of our campuses that sustained any injuries. So uh, we feel very blessed uh, to, to have that news. Uh, bottom line is we can repair that. I'm just so thankful that uh, our, our students and, and staff were safe. And so that, that was a prayer answered. So meanwhile, just across the street from the schools, you can see where the storm's path continued. Their trees are down, power lines down, homes destroyed. We walked through one home where the entire roof was taken off. And while we were there surveying the street, we met Mike Cantrell. He says he rushed over to check on his 90-year-old mother who was home alone with her dog. She called and pretty hysterical and she, uh, she was, she was doing pretty good for what she had dealt with there. She, but I don't know. It's a mess. What did she do to take shelter? She got in the shower, her and her dog, and rode it out right there until the wind quit blowing. And went to trying to get a hold of somebody to come get her out. 
And as you can hear in the background, the chainsaws, we were walking down the street and homeowners were already starting to clean up again. No reported injuries, as you heard from the superintendent. The superintendent of Jacksboro also said classes obviously canceled for at least the remainder of the week. He's going to reevaluate at the beginning of next week. But right now we have a lot of Jack County Sheriff deputies out surveying the damage. We know it's dark right now, but they are checking on homeowners as we speak.